wrestling. I know you've done a lot of charity work, uh, partnered up with different organizations or done stuff on your own. What sure. stuff have you done outside of wrestling to help out in your community? Well, we do <clears> – <throat> every year we do the food drive at Metropolitan Ministries, and I'm really proud of that. And I bring my daughter with me on that too so she can see – uh, you, you know, it's every parents, you know, if you're, I, I guess one of the biggest things is you want to teach your ch uh, child humility, you know, that no matter how you may have it at home, there's a lot of people that are suffering out there and you always want to just do the right thing. I do it because it just makes me feel good. And I've been burned by, you know, maybe being too charitable with some of my rental properties and what have you. Like, you know, I've got a widow living there now for a thousand a month for a twenty eight hundred dollar a month um, house, a three bedroom, two bath house. But I just feel so bad for her, you know, because I watched her husband, who was a friend of mine, Rob, just wither away from cancer. So she's been there two years. <laughs> I'm just like, uh. but um, yeah, and it just feels good. And you know, we do a lot of stuff in the community, um, just knowing a lot of the people, a lot of the leaders, and you know, growing up with them and growing up here in Tampa since my senior year. And it's, it's just a lot of fun, you know, and we did the bike raise, uh, God, it was like 1500 bikes. This Christmas, a friend of mine, Scott started this and it's just a tremendous charity. And when you can give a kid a bike who, who, who really get, has nothing, you know, it's just, oof, it really makes you realize how blessed we are. You know, yeah. you see some of the sad stories in my other business, I have a funding company. And for that business, I really do have to see a lot of the hardships, um, as you can imagine. So, you know, it's just, it's always good to just remember and try to give back, you know, and leave your mark. And hopefully my daughter will be the same way. And she is, she's got a huge heart. She's very empathetic and just loves animals. And I think that would be the best thing for me that, uh, knowing that she grows up the same way and, you know, believes in helping others. Because yeah. if we get all help one or two people a day, you know what? It'll grow, and maybe one day we can get this thing turned around again how it was when I was young or when you were a baby. You know, where people didn't matter if we were black or white or whatever, man. We were all Americans. We all, you know, just wanted to see everybody do well. Yeah, bleed red. Yeah, but, you know, when you get religion into it and race, uh, it's, just, uh, it's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. You know, we're all human beings and, you know, it's hard enough out there just to make it, let alone when you factor in all those other things. So. Yeah. You know, the holidays are very, are very stressful for, for a lot of people, especially young kids who may not have the money yeah. to afford presents and yeah. uh, families too. You know, some kids are without a family, you know, they, they oh, may yeah. be, they're going through hard times in their life. Was there a particular instance where, you had to talk with uh, some kids or talk with some fa people that, you know, couldn't afford, you know, certain gifts for Christmas or had to help them out. Yeah, no, I would listen. <laughs> listen every year. Um, and, and I'm glad I'm, 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 I'm glad that I can laugh about it, but every year I'm the biggest sucker. And sometimes my, my uh, better half gets a little mad, but she gets it, you know, it just, I'll go to houses sometimes, meet clients and stuff, and it's a, a dirt floor and there's no food. You know, I can't tell you how many times I order pizzas for them or, you know, leave them 100, 200 bucks. Hey, get some, you know, presents for the kids. I mean, it, it really uh, moves me to tears, just the stuff I've seen. So, <clears throat> you know, again, if you could, you know, leave your own little mark and maybe inspire other, not inspire, but you know, have other people do it and, you know, get some of your friends together and do it, which we've done all the time. We raised, got tons of food for the one before last, um, right when COVID broke. Um, just went to Cash and Carry, went to the other grocers and said, look, give us your scratch the dent stuff. If you can do it yourself, and, you know, I just know how it makes me feel. Even just giving a guy $5 in the corner, and yeah, you know what, the guy might be making 50 k a year under the table. But I know I feel good because it was with good intentions, you know, let's get something to eat. Don't, you know, so that's just my philosophy on it. I think if you can help people, you know, and, and you can't judge, I teach my daughter all the time, you know, honey, she goes, Oh, but daddy, he's just sick. I said, but maybe he lost his wife. Maybe he had a horrible fire and lost his family. He's not quite equipped to cope with it. Like other people are, 
You, know, you never judge somebody if you walk in their shoes. You know, I just no. so many sad stories out there. It really breaks my heart, it does. Yeah, it's very sad out there, you know. Well, you know, and then I realized I was adopted by two of the most wonderful people who walk the earth. And <clears throat> the kind of friends that I have and the life that I, I'm, I'm so blessed, you know. So I think if you don't do something, however you do it your own way, join a whatever, you're, you're neglect, you know. Yeah, you definitely have to be grateful for the things you have and to appreciate the stuff that's out there. Count your blessings because, you know, there's always going to be someone out there that doesn't have very much, if not anything. Yeah. And it's important to help someone so that they can feel good, so that you can feel good. 